acute coronary syndrome or ACS is the collection of ischemic conditions that occurs due to decreased blood flow in the coronary arteries or coronary atherosclerosis or plaque formation. ACS is subdivided into three scenarios depending on the duration of symptoms, presence of ECG changes and blood test results. It is ST elevation MI, non-ST elevation MI and unstable angina. Generally, when the symptoms are of less than 30 minutes, it is unstable angina and if it is prolonged to more than 30 minutes, it is diagnosed as acute myocardial infection. ACS chain of survival includes the step 1 recognizing the symptoms of ACS. The most common symptom of acute coronary syndrome is centrally located chest pain often spreading to the shoulders, neck, one or both arms and jaw. Lightheadedness, dizziness, sweating, fainting, nausea or vomiting can also be manifested in ACS patients. The step 2 in ACS algorithm is activating the emergency medical system. The bystander immediately call the ambulance team and brief the information that includes the location where the patient is and the symptoms what the patient have. They may also communicate about whether the patient is having an allergy to aspirin and will instruct the bystander to be online with the EMS team until the ambulance arrives. The EMS assessment, care and hospital preparation includes assessment of ABCs, airway, breathing and circulation. Administer aspirin 160 to 2, 325 mg to chew and consider oxygen, nitroglycerin and morphine if needed. In the initial hours of ACS, aspirin is absorbed better when chewed, better than when swallowed. Don't forget that aspirin is contraindicated in patients with true aspirin allergy and GI bleeding. Obtain a 12 lead ECG and if it is a STEMI or ST segment elevation myocardial infraction, notify the receiving hospital and note the time of onset and first medical contact. Provide pre-hospital notification to the ED that includes patient present history, blood pressure, pulse rate, oxygen saturation and ECG findings. On arrival, transport to the emergency department as soon as possible. The step 3 in ACS algorithm comes the ED assessment and treatment. The ED assessment should occur within first 10 minutes from the patient's arrival. In the emergency department, again assess ABCs and provide oxygen if O2 saturation is less than 90%. Establish IV access and also perform brief history and physical examination. It is very important to review the fibrinolytic checklist and check for any contraindications. Obtain initial cardiac marker levels, complete blood test and chest x-ray to less than 30 minutes and shift patient to cat lab for PCI without delay. Before going to the step 4 in ACS algorithm, it's very important to provide psychological support to both the patient and relatives. The step 4 in ACS chain of survival is cath lab procedure or treatment. In percutaneous coronary intervention or coronary angioplasty, a stent is used to open up the blood vessels in the heart that have been narrowed by the plaque buildup. PCI should begin within 90 minutes from the first medical contact to balloon inflation and the fibrinolytic administration should begin within 30 minutes of patient's arrival in ED. After the cat lab procedure, patient is shifted to a ward for post-operative management. Time 
is very precious in managing the acute coronary syndrome. The life of an ACS patient depends upon how quickly the help arrives. Even though it is a serious condition, with a better EMS system and fast delivery of treatment, it's possible to save the patient.